In this journey, I want to show you the hope and the sadness, the growth from the pain, the acceptance of what can't be changed, the self-compassion and flaws, the life in between the death, the eternity and the temporary, and the alien and the familiar. There's a new baby on the way. Uh, it's nighttime, so I wanted to kind of document the birth of the new baby. Even though there's a lot of negative things going on in the world, I still want to remind you guys of the beauty of life, and it's still happening, and it's pretty magical to witness. A baby chicken is fully formed at three weeks, here it comes! There it is! That's insane that the little feet and the beak and the eyeballs and the feathers are all formed from a mushy yolk in three weeks. It's good for them to stay in the incubator a day or two after they're born to dry off. Hey babies! They begin walking a couple hours after they're born. Hello, I'm Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel of adventures and explorations of cool things from a girl with autism who's just trying to travel and explore the world, but who has to stay isolated during the coronavirus at a farm back in Pennsylvania where she grew up. <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's a gross day outside today. It is April, so the weather is just unpredictable. It's very moody. So we're gonna do something inside today. I do a lot of photo shoots. Check out my Instagram right here. I do a lot of um, like, I like, I like, I really like alien, extraterrestrial, apocalyptic type of cyberpunk type of feels. It feel, it resonates the most with me and I, I just love the escapism of it. I haven't been able to do any photo shoots because of the virus and the isolation and stuff. So I'm gonna do something a little creative here and I have an editor friend and he is going to help me do a photo shoot and he's gonna edit the pictures from it. But before any of that, I wanna show you guys something really cool. And this video is sponsored by I'm like stuttered. I'm like nervous. I'm like I haven't had a sponsorship for so long. I want to do this right. Okay, let me do this right. I can't really do a proper unboxing because I already have them kind of unboxing stuff. But it comes with and yeah, just the contact lenses, which are extremely soft and probably the most comfortable ones I've had yet. I'm gonna put this on. I got several different pairs for several different looks. I'm gonna use the most extreme one today that I have not used yet, and this is the cat eyes. Um, if you want to get these, use my link down below in the description and you should be good. So this is what it looks like. TTDI contacts. Here are a couple pictures of some other lenses that I've used with them already, if you want to see. And if you want to see how these pictures turn out, go to my Instagram because you'll see it there first. I'm going to go ahead and put these contacts in and I'm going to show you what they look like after I put them in. Nice. Guys, these are so cool. I've never had such cool ones before. Wow. And the thing about these contacts is they're so comfortable and you and like they don't obstruct your vision at all. I've I've tried on quite a few contacts and these ones are probably my favorite because of how comfortable they are. Highly recommend. Link in the description. This is too cool. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then we're gonna do this photo shoot. TTDI contacts. No. Well. So cool. This is the full look now from the Amish store. While we're waiting for my photographer to call me, I got a lot of bars. And guess how much this whole box of bars was? All of this. So many bars. Five dollars. So I'm gonna pick out the ones that I really like, which were mainly the Cliff Protein bars and then the the RX bars that I like the most saving money out here. I've been living off of bars lately. Um, I feel like I'm like in this bunker, like in the apocalypse, just like <laughs> I, I got radiation damage <laughs> and my heart's, you know, gone. Lots of fun. But I have been reading or listening to the audiobook, The Power of Now, and highly, highly recommend that. That's insanely amazing. Like now that I'm kind of like settled, all of my, um, 
mental and emotional issues are coming up and it's really been a hell again to try and like squash them but I've been running from them for so long that um, it's time to handle them and it's gonna be fucking painful and it's gonna be a mess but <sighs> please get better outside sunshine please Mommy. no shabam <laughs> so daddy what kind of lenses do you have in that list 16 to 50 to 50 okay okay so I think we're gonna shoot with 50 Okay. Do you already find out, find out about the background? No. Nope. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know. Like I don't have a backdrop. ISO one hundred. I'm making a scene of you trying to look at the camera like I'm doing right now. So like this? So that's the, the little camera. It's like I'm going. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, below. Put it below you, like on the ground. Really? That's gonna like create some weird shadows. And try to diffuse it. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with the photo shoot now. One of my eyes are like good. <laughs> These are so comfortable, like these contacts are super comfortable. I don't even realize that they're in. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little virtual photo shoot. I think a lot of them turned out blurry, so he's probably not gonna be happy with me about that, but he's gonna just have to work with it, whatever. That one's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm getting really low. <laughs> like I have my mom and stuff, but she's all she's always doing stuff. Like she, I don't know how she's so busy, but I think it's good to, you know, just focus on. I don't know what I do these days. Oh, I have to be. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll see you in the, in the next snippet. This might be kind of gruesome to show, but when you incubate eggs, some eggs don't hatch, and these are the ones that didn't hatch out of that batch. So how many eggs did you have? I had nine eggs. And then only one that formed didn't. Yeah, didn't hatch. So those the ones other... might, they might have not even start. That, those ones didn't even start. No. What is that? It was starting to develop. That must be like the blood vessels. Only one that formed didn't hatch, and I uh, don't really know why. But it was dead. Sometimes it's helpful to open them to know why or what's going on, but whenever you incubate chickens, it's not always 100% that all of them are going to hatch. So it's kind of, there is one fully formed one that didn't hatch. It may not have had the strength. It may have died before it even started to try and hatch. You don't really know and then one kind of just had like blood vessels but it stopped forming so but it's very sad and unfortunate and i'm sorry if that was too gruesome for some people out there um but it's kind of the reality of life and death he's walking oh the little babies one two three just one little white one one okay, when they were born so maybe they think i'm their mom <laughs> Don't ask what happened. Okay, you, you got it out of me. I was making a TikTok. <laughs> I was doing like the mugshot thing. I just look like a clown though. <laughs> My mom gave me this to do. <laughs> she like brings me little ideas to do. Little, little things that I can do in my... I'm done with quarantine by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, it's been two weeks, more than two weeks. So, so she wants me to plant these little mixed greens and then put it in, in here. Uh, she said not to use the whole pack, but uh, I guess we just we're, we're gardener Victoria coming at you. Yeah, like, like why am I not wiped yet? <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, I'm autistic. I think um, women with autism get provide. Uh, I'm just like looking at myself in the bee fighter and be like, yes, I would make a very good partner and wife. Like, seriously. Anyways. Garden takes two to five days to germinate. This is the content you guys didn't sign up for that you're getting now, so like accept it. Seed spacing is a fourth inch apart. My mom said not to overplant, but you just put them in there. We're gonna set that for five to ten days. <laughs> this, is, this is my little life corner over here. I have I'm planting some stuff, I'm growing some chickens. This one, this is the only yellow one, so I can distinguish it and I'll take it out and hold it every day just so it like, oh, it's falling asleep. Just 
just so um, I want to bond with it. They grew up so fast, and I thought maybe we could be friends. Aside from baby chickens and photo shoots, I've been trying to be creative. I've been trying to face my inner self. Hey, Denver is going to be 70 today. Six years now, yeah. Really? Here, it literally like snowed for two days. I try to talk to my family. I try to do med meditating now and listening to the power of now. I'm not missing out on anything, you know what I mean? Being out here, <laughs> there's like nothing going on, so. I've also been trying to learn flips and doing physical things as well as working out and being outside whenever it's nice out. Can you pick up the eggs? Are they heavy? Yeah. A few days before the chickens are born, you take out the egg holder from the incubator and add a little water. And then in a few days, you'll have your baby chickens. And then we should have a little moisture. Well, there's still moisture in there. See you Saturday. Let's say Wednesday. So that's two days. I hope you enjoyed this week in my isolated life. Please stay tuned for more adventures that are yet to come and keep hope. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.